y'all. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be bringing you another thrift haul video. As you can see, I'm flying solo today. Nicole has been under the weather the last week, so she's not going to be able to be in the video. We tried to hold off on shooting this video, but it just didn't work out that way. Uh, we just moved into our booth on the 15th. Today is the 18th. We've already sold a couple of big items, but we needed to get some of the bigger pieces done, like this dresser over here. Started working on these chairs. Uh, we needed to get them in the booth to fill out the booth. Uh, the booth is 13 by 13, so without the, the bigger pieces, it really looks bare. So today we're bringing you a thrift haul video, and we're going to start over here. Uh, most of the items we either got at a thrift store or Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I was on Marketplace uh, last week, and I actually saw this sign here. Really cool Chevrolet sign, wood sign. Um, the guy was asking 10 bucks for it. I offered him five. He, he accepted the offer and he said, come out and get it. He said he had a bunch of other signs and stuff to look at and bring some extra money. So that's what I did. I got this sign. And then when I got there, he had a table set up with a bunch of other things. So the, everything that, you're gonna, that I'm about to show you right now, I got for $5 a piece. All of the advertisement type stuff and these two lamps over here were included in that. So here's one of the items. It's a uh, really cool Pabst Blue Ribbon tray. So that's really cool. Then there was this Chevrolet clock, which has like a neon ring around it. That was really cool. There is this Texaco clock, which was brand new, still in the box. He must have bought it and then just never had a chance to hang it up or anything. So I had to get that. Um, there is this really cool Harley Davidson sign. There is this Coca-Cola sign, which as you guys can guess, Nicole wants to keep. We may or may not. This was pretty cool though. It's a uh, Coca-Cola in a bottle shape sign. So that's really cool. And then these are these were so cool. Uh, there was this one he had set out here. It's a GMC sign, solid metal, really heavy. That, that's pretty cool. So that was five bucks too. I had to get it. Uh, and then as we were pulling away, that I had tried, I got those seven items, and I uh, it came out to forty bucks. And then as we were pulling away, the, the guy comes down, running down the driveway. With this here, and he was like, I had my son with me, and he was like, here, take this for your boy. So, all together, I ended up getting eight items for 40 bucks. This one is so cool. Uh, you, you turn the key, it makes a like an engine revving sound, lights up, 57 Chevy Bel Air sign, uh, lamp, so that's really cool. That's one of the benefits of bringing your cute children with you. All right, so next up, I was... Uh, Riding through um, an apartment complex the other day, and sticking out the trash can, I saw some one by or two by twos. So I, I grabbed those up. I'm gonna take these and make some uh, uh, little uh, tea towel ladders to go to go on those. So I'll, I'll uh, put those together. I already cut them down just to get them in the house. So I'll put those together, stain them up. There'll be tea towel ladders. Those will be cool. Uh, as you can see right here, these two chairs. I got these for free, actually. I went to pick up those nesting tables and right around the corner from those, uh, these were sitting out by the curb. So there's some cool mid-century modern chairs. As you can see, I already started painting this one so we can get it into the booth here pretty soon. Um, they're in great condition structurally. The They need to be re reupholstered, so I'm, gonna, I'm painting them blue. I have a nice uh, gray like linen type fabric that I'm gonna reupholster those with and those will look those are going to look awesome when they're done. Then we have uh, this rocking chair. So I was on Marketplace one night, about like 11 o'clock at night, and I saw that. And uh, they were actually listed, for, it was actually listed for free. So I uh, messaged the guy and I'm like, hey, is this still available? He says, is this still available, first come, first serve? So in the middle of the night, about 11.30 at night, in the rain, I drove about 20 minutes away to go pick that up. It was outside. I had to, Go through the rain and end up getting that. This is really cool. It's a uh, really nice rocking chair. Great structurally. It just needs to be cleaned up and 
probably painted because it's a little bit worn. Um, this here, I was on Marketplace and uh, there was a mirror actually that I was interested in. And there was uh, other items, frames, stuff like that. I went and go to go look at the mirror. The mirror is what I initially wanted to get. But when I got there, the mirror was um, broke. The uh, frame was broken on it. So I saw this. This was pretty cool. The creepy old lady. As you can see, it's in a really cool frame. The glass is actually curved. So I thought that that was really cool. Everything was only a dollar a piece. So I had to get this. thought it was cool. The frame is, is, a, is a little bit scratched up and stuff. So I'll probably paint it white to kind of uh, bring out the features. Distress it back. That's, that'll look really cool. My kids all were freaked out by this. They think it's like a haunted picture. So that was pretty cool. Uh, at that same house, I was able to pick up these three frames. All for a dollar a piece. They're all solid wood frames. We'll take these and we'll uh, paint them. Put some cool prints in those. And put those in the booth. Um, right here, our uh, local Salvation Army, sometimes they do uh, books for 10 for a dollar. So I ended up buying a, a box, a couple boxes of 50 books total. I got a whole set of encyclopedias so that we could do something something like this with it. We painted them white, wrapped them in some twine. We're going to stencil some uh, some words here on the sides. Those will be cool decor pieces. So yeah, I got 50 books for five bucks, 10 cents a piece. You could, I couldn't pass that up. Uh, let's see here. At that same Salvation Army, uh, I saw this little uh, recipe box. It was priced at $2.99, but it was 50% off, so I got that for $1.50. That'll get painted white, distressed back, a little uh, stencil recipe on the top, and uh, that'll be really cool. Uh, all right, so let's get, get this here. This is really cool. This was another marketplace find. We got this for five bucks. It's a, a little corner stand. I believe this is probably older. It's at least vintage if it's not antique. Solid wood. That's really cool. That would get painted and distressed back. Give it that farmhouse look that we go for. Um, over here, like I said, I was I picked when I got those chairs. I was I was actually going to pick these up. This is a little set of nesting tables that I was able to get for uh, ten bucks for the set of three. So these are these are really cool little nesting tables. They all slide into each other. They're in pretty rough condition. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but they're in pretty rough condition. They're solid wood, though, so they will get distressed or uh, painted and distressed back to give it that farmhouse look again. That farmhouse look has been pretty uh, popular for us, so that's what we usually try to go for. Um, back here, we have some um, old windows. Uh, I was on Marketplace. I liked, I, I've done um, little like shadow box coffee tables before with these. So these were uh, two bucks a piece for some old windows. Some of them will be turned into the shadow boxes. Some will probably just be put into the booth as is. I ended up getting a total of five windows. This one here is going to get a little uh, transfer on it. And it'll be just a like a wall hanger decor piece. I'll probably put some um, uh, like coat hooks on the bottom. The little transfer I got says, be patient, be gentle, be humble, be loving. Uh, it's Ephesians 4.2. So that's going to go on here. It'll get put on there and it'll be a little wall hanger. We got this. This was the only one this size. And then we got four of these bigger square ones. These bigger square ones are the ones that I'll probably turn into the uh, coffee tables. And then behind that is a headboard, which again was free. Somebody put it on the marketplace for free. It's just a twin headboard, solid wood, really cool spindle work. The top is spindles, the, all the bars are spindles, really cool detail. So those I, I take and I put, uh, make them into a bench. So I'll have to build a frame for that and then we'll put some slats across that. That'll be a really cool bench. Um, over here at the Salvation Army, our local Salvation Army, we stopped, I stopped by there one afternoon and uh, they had this set of four little uh, kitchen boxes. They say flour, sugar, coffee, and tea. Those are really cool. 
they're, they're painted gray right now, but whoever did it before didn't do the greatest job. They tried to, I don't know, they tried to do some kind of finish on it and it just didn't turn out too well. So those we're going to have to repaint. Um, we'll probably paint them white, a little more uh, universal color. Those are really cool. And then underneath that, you can see the dresser that we got here. Um, we went to a yard sale trying to pick up a really big uh, shelving unit to put into the booth because we need space for a lot of the smaller items. Um, so we went to the yard sale for that. We didn't end up buying that because it was in really rough condition. But we did see this little dresser here. It was just sitting out by the front. Um, I asked her how much it was. She said five bucks. So I had to get it. It was, it was kind of beat up, uh, finished wise. So I painted it this uh, beautiful sage green. It was missing a handle. I had a set of these four handles that matched um, in my stash. So I put them on there, painted it up, waxed it. It's ready to go. It's going to be going into the booth today. Um, looks like that's all of the thrifted and uh, Facebook Marketplace items. Last thing I wanted to show you guys was um, in our last booth in Arizona, we had we did a lot of signs, like uh, gas and oil and type of signs. Um, so th those were really successful for us. So I was on um, eBay trying to find another supplier for those. And uh, eBay had this uh, lot of 24 signs for, I believe it was $90. So it came out to like $3.75 a piece or something like that, which is really good because we'll be able to sell these for, for $10 a piece. Um, so we'll go through these real quick. Champion. Cool spark plug sign. The Gulf gasoline sign. Red Indian motor oils. Uh, Sinclair gasoline. These ones are really popular. Anytime you put anything Sinclair in our booth, they sell really quick. Uh, Dunlap tire sign. Bobbling. Uh Poly Pin Motor Oil. That one's cool. It's got like a really age distressed look to it. Mopar sign. Mopar stuff sells really easily. Uh, another Sinclair sign. Power Lube. We had a couple of those in our last booth and those sold pretty quickly. Another Sinclair sign. We had a bigger one of these. That one sold pretty quickly. These are all 8x12. Uh, Red Crown Gasoline. Valvoline. This one is Castro Motor Oil. Plume Motor Spirit Vacuum Oil Company. That one's pretty cool. Duckums, Racing Motor Oil, Mobile, with the Pegasus, that's cool. Uh, Buffalo Brand, I like that one, that one's cool. 76, Goodyear. Wellsaline motor oil, Valvoline, Champion spark plugs, and a Freedom motor oil with a cool bulldog on there. All right, so that brings us to the end of all of our uh, week, our last couple weeks uh, thrift haul, the marketplace haul, and then the signs we got off of eBay. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Uh, feel free to share it. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.